Okay, so here you can see we have our ingredients for the sunshine rhubarb juice concentrate. You can see the rhubarb is already prepped and sliced. We have some lemons here. We also have some oranges here, which we're going to zest. And then we're going to reserve because we're going to also use the juice in them as well. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to measure out 12 cups of rhubarb and four cups of water. I'm actually going to do a triple batch because you can see I have a lot of rhubarb here and I've got that beautiful stock pot. So I'm going to measure out 36 cups of rhubarb. I'm going to zest all three oranges, all three lemons, and then I will set them aside and we will come back when we're done. And then I will show you what we're going to do next. All right, so we have three lemons and three oranges that have been zested. And in here we have 36 cups, I'm doing a triple batch, um, 36 cups of rhubarb with 12 cups of water. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna go ahead and put the zest in with the rhubarb, and then I am going to put it on the stove, and we're gonna bring it up to a boil stirring constantly because we do not want it to scorch or burn because obviously that will taint the flavor of the concentrate. And then once that is up to a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the heat and cover, and then we're gonna gently boil mm, 10 minutes, I think it is, yeah, 10 minutes. And then we'll remove it from the heat, and we will stir in the lemon juice and orange juice. Okay, so the rhubarb is getting hot. We're not quite to boiling, but we're getting there. And you can see it's now below the water. And as it gets softer, you'll see more and more water present because the juices will release. Um, and you can see it's this little greenish yellow color right now because of the green and the zest and stuff. But just giving it a stir and then once it shows signs of boiling we'll go ahead and we will put the lid on and let it go for 10 minutes so we're seeing some slight bubbling from boiling so we're going to give it a final stir put the lid on and let it boil for 10 minutes Okay, so our rhubarb and zest has boiled for 10 minutes. Um, you can see that how I'm straining this is a little bit different than normal. Typically with a small size batch, what you would do is strain this into a colander or a damp jelly bag. Um, if you use a colander, you wanna have several layers of cheesecloth, and that way you'd have one straining that would last about two hours. What I'm doing though, because I have a triple batch here, is I'm using this colander and you can see I've got all the juice caught in another pan. You can see there's a little piece there that fell out, but that's fine because what I'm gonna do is when the majority of this juice has dripped out, give it 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna then take this pan or the colander and put it in another pan to catch any more drippings. And then I'm gonna take this juice that's already come through the sieve and I'm gonna go ahead and run it through the damp jelly bag. Um, that helps filter the debris and makes it more manageable when you're using a larger batch because um, jelly bags are pretty small typically. So we will let this sit for about 15 minutes and then I will move it and then we will show you the process of going through the jelly bag. So this is what the citrus rhubarb concentrate looks like or sunshine rhubarb concentrate. And you can see we've got the rhubarb up in this, um, so it will catch any additional juice. Um, but right now I'm gonna set the jelly bag on the jelly stand and we're gonna put this juice through it. And you can see some of the finer strands from the rhubarb are floating. And that jelly bag will remove all of that so we have a nice clear juice. And then after this is set up here for a bit, what I will do is put the juice that's in here through the jelly bag as well. Okay, so we have our jelly stand with our damp jelly bag all set up. 
And we have our juice here. And we're just gonna go ahead and ladle it through. We're just going to continue the process until we have it all worked through. Here we have our sunshine rhubarb juice concentrate and you can see it's heated up and ready to be put into our jars. So we're going to go ahead and fill the jars. We're going to measure to appropriate headspace and then we are going to put it in the canner and process it for 10 minutes. This recipe calls for a headspace of one quarter inch.